Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I'm back from holidays and this is one of the first videos I'm filming with my uh, regular setup for it's been a couple of uh, weeks since I've done a video but I thought that in today's uh, video we would jump into capacities because during my holidays I had an issue with the offline mode in uh, my note-taking app so I played around with capacities because if you didn't know I am um really scared of flying so having a note taking app to play around with test out uh, set up and just as i said play around with because that's my hobby makes it a lot easier and capacities has been one of the applications i've struggled to understand and figure out how does this application actually work and i think well it works in multiple different ways but i think i've uh, ha I have an idea of how this uh, application actually works and how uh, like all of the different features and how uh, you can set it up and just in general why it is so hyped up because that's the main point. This application is super super hyped up, hyped up uh, and I'm not or I haven't understood why uh, but now I think I do so let's just start off with the daily page because I've been using um, the daily pages a lot uh, and if I jump into today like here I can add new meeting new project quite easily uh, I can create uh, uh, I can create these object types really easily but I wanted to create a daily uh, note here because this is something I use a lot so I capture something let's say I would capture a social media idea um, like this one for example capacities uh, and I would call this capacities not tutorial but um, capacities tour um, and then I would like I wouldn't do much more. I would just press hashtag and I would do social media. And I have two. I have one called social media and I have one called social media idea. I should probably uh, change those a little, but I am familiar with the icon. So this one is the social media idea here. And here I can uh, choose which social media it is for. This one is a YouTube video and I can give it a property. You can use tags for this, but I actually ended up using objects instead because it made sense. So I use tags for uh, categories, um, not necessarily for status. So I could do PKM here. Do I have uh, one? Yeah, I have one called productivity and PKM like this. And then I could start like entering uh, other details I have one called related app. This does not show unless I actually press it or uh, I have something inside of it. Uh, so that would be capacities because I have um, apps here as well. So these are the different productivity apps and I give them tags uh, and I try to like categorize them, pricing and things like that. I'm actually not sure about the capacities pricing because that is, uh, I get the pricing in Norwegian kroners. I'm also currently on the pro free trial. I, I think that lasts you 14 uh, days. And I spent like my, um, I spent my uh, plane ride up to Greece from Norway. So around four hours, four and a half hours, uh, just setting this up and playing around with it because I had the time anyways. Uh, so here you have quotes. What I do here is that if I just open one of these up, um, this is actually linked to uh, the book. So here you have the book right here uh, because inside of capacities you have a con contextual backlink. So not only do I see the backlink, I can actually open this up as well. So this is the book, The Mountain Is You. And I actually go ahead and I just tag things here as I would. Like I, this doesn't work right now because I've already tagged this but I can show you an example here and I just tag it as a quote and I only do that for the most important things and um, I would probably if I were to use capacities as my note-taking app uh, and this goes for people who actually uses it as their note-taking app I am still not jumping to capacities uh, but it makes much more sense to me now and I wanted to do a tour on how I would set this up and use this. Um, so just to be clear, I'm not changing applications, but if I were to use this, I would, 
probably end up connecting uh i would probably end up connecting uh different books together different quotes together different ideas together and you can just jump around here so open different things up i can go to personal uh i have like um i have a, a project i'm starting a personal project and i like how uh, it shows up here as well um i have a uh, a long form journal I've been testing out. I have these weekly reviews as you've seen me do in many different applications. As I said, I'm not planning on using this as my primary note taking app, so I haven't moved everything over, but I just wanted to move a couple of things over to see how it works. And the whole point of this experiment on the plane ride was one, to make me less scared of flying. And secondly, to be able to do more videos and capacities in the future. Uh, you have queries as well. Um, these are basically searches that show up as a database. I've only created one. I've created one for not done social media posts. So if I open up my social media ideas here, you can see that I have not done social media posts. This is, uh, this is basically just a query uh, of... Um, the type social media ideas. If you're new to uh, object-based note-taking, none of this uh, makes any sense, but it will at some point. Uh, when you start to understand object-based note-taking, uh, you understand why people uh, like it and enjoy it so much. But the basic point of it is that instead of everything being a note, it is the actual thing. So an application is a type app. A journal entry is a journal entry. I've just called it journals. Again, I should probably change the name of this. A note is a note, a quote is a quote, a movie is a movie, and you have some basic ones that come with the application, and you have some you can add as well. Uh, but I think that like shows you um, the most important things. Uh, these properties and also the social media one is actually, um, this is actually a property based on uh, social medias here because I want to use this a little more to like like write things about the different social medias, maybe write uh, some uh, things about the ideas I have behind them and things like that. Uh, so that's why I chose to put this up as an object type instead of uh, instead of using a tag. Uh, but in most cases, I think tag uh, makes the most since I've also tested out uh, tasks here uh, and uh, I have movies here as well. Tasks isn't something I've used a lot because uh, when I tried this out, um, I found out that Capacities has an integration with um, with uh, things three, so you can just create a checkbox in your uh, daily note. Uh, so I could do a checkbox here either by doing backslash and to do i think it is like this um and uh, let's just call it test and on my mac i can actually send that directly to uh things three uh things three isn't easy to integrate with so it doesn't work with uh capacities on uh web on the windows version right here but um my point uh here is that i now finally understand why people enjoy uh, this application so much. The AI features are also good. Um, it lacks a few things. My main issue is that it lacks a Readwise integration. I've been a big fan of Readwise lately, but that is actually coming quite soon. I would say that uh, even though the AI integration is good, I think it can become much, much better. But in general, I now completely understand why people love this application so much. And I have started to like it a lot more myself. But I think that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.